guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, hi, my name is Lissy. Be sure to subscribe button because we are getting so incredibly close to hitting 2 million subscribers and I don't want you guys to miss out on it, so make sure you guys hit the subscribe button if you guys are new here. And also guys, be sure to drop a like on today's video and if this video gets to 20,000 likes, I will go on the internet and try to order more scary or weird or unique mystery boxes from eBay. You guys already know what we're going to do because I kind of already told you guys on the title, but once again, I did a bad thing. I did a bad thing. I went on to eBay and I looked up haunted mystery boxes. While I was on eBay, I found a particular box. It was $100 that caught my eye and this one was a haunted dolls mystery box. You guys know on this channel I talk a ton about toys, a ton about haunted stuff and dolls and weird and creepy toys. So of course, I had to get it. <laughs> so a lot of the reviewers that have purchased from this buyer said that it was legit. They really did get some creepy items. So I'm I'm a little bit nervous but excited because it is Halloween time it's the spooky season and I love spooky stuff so this should be good and um, we're just gonna open this haunted mystery box that I ordered I do want to point out they shipped it in an Amazon parasol I don't know why they did that maybe they're just trying to reduce reuse recycle you know, we, we stand that. But yeah, it doesn't look very scary or intimidating on the outside of the box, so no idea um, what it's going to be inside of here. But look, it's a pretty spacious box and it is pretty heavy. So comment in the comments down below what you guys think is gonna be in here. No, no skipping ahead. Don't, don't do it. Don't skip ahead, but um, let's open her up and see what's inside. <laughs> I need to find the sharp object. I have this like, little cat. It's like a cat razor thing and I use it to open boxes. It's pretty cute. I forgot what end. Oh, the razor comes out of this end. That would have been bad. Okay, that's sharp. Let me just open this up, all right? And hopefully not cut myself or ruin anything while- oh, this is a very sharp razor. Yeah, well, ruin anything while doing this. Um, oh, I think I just cut- <gasps> I just cut into a letter on the top. Man, I already just messed this up. That's okay. I'm just really good at opening things, okay? It feels like it's Christmas, but a haunted one, all right? So, so we opened it up and I sliced through the note on the top, but the T, it's looking hot. There's a big letter here about the things in here. I'm kind of scared to be holding this right now, okay? Not to be dramatic, but I'm gonna put this here and I'm gonna just take a look here at um, the note here. So yeah, they said the haunted doll mystery box contents. So yeah, it says everything that's in the box, kind of like the last ones I've done. They always tell you what everything is. And these ones have some stories. So I'm just gonna grab an item and see what we get. Okay. I'm nervous now. Let me just, ah, let me just grab something out of the top of the box. Yo, what is this? This thing looks horrifying. Do you guys see that? Okay, I'm sorry if I'm disrespecting a haunted doll already like usual. Let me give you guys a close up here. This thing is actually cursed. Like it looks like a very ancient old panda bear toy. What the heck? It kind of stinky too. Oh my gosh, it stinks. Okay, this thing is like yellow withered down. I really hope you're not haunted, okay? Because I just called you stinky. I take it back. I forgot that you might be cursed. I'm gonna get cursed after this. But yeah, this thing is actually horrifying. I have no idea what to expect. But let me see their letter on this. And let me see if I can tell you guys a story about our new friend. Please don't haunt me in my sleep. Okay, so this one says it's an old panda bear. Uh, okay, let me read the story or whatever the, the seller has to say about this. It says this panda and a teddy bear has a dark backstory. It once belonged to a little girl who received this doll on her eighth birthday, as she wanted one very badly. She kept it for many years and would always display the doll on her bed at night. It even had a voice box inside of it that would repeat what you say back to you. One day, however, the doll's voice box stopped working when she went to play with it. She asked her family if they could try to fix the voice box, but nothing worked. She was upset, but she still loved this toy, so she then put the doll back in her room. One night, a few years later, the doll randomly began talking all by itself. It said things like, I know we'd be the best of friends. I really don't think we're gonna get along, dude. If you really said that. Anyways, continuing on. And the Teddy said, Teddy wants to play, which was impossible since it had been broken for years and it did not have set phrases. The girl then claimed the doll started to talk to her about her family members. So she started to believe the doll was evil. It freaked her out so much that she put it into a storage box and never took it out again. Eventually, the owner of this doll grew old and passed away, but her doll was donated to the antique store along with its very dark back story. Guys, this is horrifying, okay? That was one intense story. So the one question I have about this little panda bear doll now is does the voice box work on it, obviously?
obviously. I think if it was working, it would be repeating what I say to it. The one thing I'm wondering, I do feel like the box inside of it. Ooh, but like it's stitched shut. That's what's super weird. It looks like someone restitched it. Check it out. So on the back where you could have opened it before, someone restitched it so you can't even open the voice box anymore, which is kind of suspicious. So this thing is creepy. I'm gonna put it in the background to see if it moves on its own or does anything scary. Let me know in the comments while we open the rest of the box. I'm gonna put it right here. Yeah, you guys will know if it falls now because it will fall on Angel and she will be terrified. So let's open the next thing. All right, next scary item. What are we going to get? What the heck is this? Yo, what is this? This looks like a Halloween prop. Are you sure this is haunted? He has some hands, yo. He got some tiny, look, it looks like I have like alien hands. I'm not believing that this is haunted, all right? You couldn't pay me money to be scared of a Halloween prop. I mean, it's it's ugly. Let me see what they have to say about this. Alien doll. Okay, let's read the story. This alien doll was originally purchased at a Halloween store. Amongst the other 15 aliens it was sold with. And rumor has it that the doll, the alien, was haunted. Sure you were. The original buyer of the alien claims it suddenly started to glow in the dark when it wasn't made to do so. Additionally, their cat and dog were terrified of it immediately when they saw it. They also claimed that the head would suddenly shift positions without being moved around. The owner of the doll decided to give it away to his brother. Brother. Now I have it somehow. Okay, well, let me just show you guys this thing up close. Do you guys get scary vibes from Alien? What should we name it? Fredward? He looks like a Fredward. But yeah, I don't know why he's built like this. He's pinned together. Look at that. He's stupid. I'm gonna put him back on the, on the bed as well. I'm not afraid of that. Let's open the next item. <laughs> next haunted item. What do we have here? Okay, I looked at a few of them by accident, okay? Let's just take out this one. It's a doll. Quirky, cute. Not cute, but okay, let's let's look at it. Out of all the haunted items I get, I will say haunted dolls like this scare me the most, like the absolute most. A porcelain doll, and she has like glass head and glass hands, and she's really small, and she's just kind of ugly. Like she's just, sorry doll, you're just a little creepy. All of them are. Any porcelain doll I just find to be immediately creepy. The way she stares into my soul right now, oh, I don't like it. Okay, yeah, this is a little eerie, so this one might actually be haunted. Please don't curse me, little doll, please. I don't need any more haunted things in my life. Not like I haven't bought like three other haunted mystery boxes, but you know. I'm guessing this is the Becky doll. This doll was known to be seen moving inside of an old thrift store all on its own. Workers have claimed to see it randomly fall over and blink. Some even say they heard whispers coming from the doll. Yo, you trying to whisper in my ear tonight? What was that? Everyone should subscribe to my YouTube channel? I agree. She just whispered that. Totally. All the workers who worked at the store were terrified of Becky, and they were glad when it finally left the shop. How However, nobody knows where the doll originally came from or what the doll's real backstory is. I kind of am curious of like what the whole backstory to this little doll is because I do say out of every item I've opened so far, this one has the most heaviest energy, the most creepiest vibe. Like Becky is gonna haunt me in my sleep tonight. Like I'm gonna be sleeping, you know, I'm gonna be minding my own business and all of a sudden Becky's just gonna come right up in my face when I'm asleep just like, whoa. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I don't even know what I'm trying to say. But yeah, this thing is creepy. I don't like the vibe, so let's hope this one's not actually haunted because yeah, I might have to update you guys if something happens on this one. All right, next haunted item. What do we have here? Another bear? Yo, what is it with the bears in this crib? Ooh, this one is extra creepy. He looking hungry. Look at that. He has his tongue out and everything. He got eyelashes. He has like a chef hat. What is he, a country kitchen bear? He has like trousers. Okay, this thing is actually disturbing in all the wrong ways. I mean, look at his face. Look at his face! It's horrifying! Okay, I'm gonna read the story on this dude. Oh, I'm guessing this is the actual bear doll, because there was two bear dolls. One was a panda. This one's not a panda. It's a bear. <laughs> this bear doll was acquired from the Bear Country Inn in the 1960s. What is the Bear Country Inn? I have no clue. It was part of a room that was a bear-themed room, and the bear sat up top on the dresser as a display piece until some guests noticed strange behaviors from the bear. Some claim this bear would growl in the middle of the night, like a deep, monstrous growl, and others claim they would hear scratches on their hotel door in the middle of the night, all to get up and look outside of their door to see nothing there. And some guests even claim they'd see a shadow figure of a bear on the ceiling while they were staying in this room. There were so many complaints that eventually the hotel decided to take this doll out of the room and sell it to a local antique store. Yo! 
Bear Bear, you gotta make me a promise, little chef man. Don't haunt me tonight. <laughs> like, actually, this thing is really creepy. There's even stains on it, look. Do you guys see that? I don't even think my camera's gonna pick up on it, but there's like stains on his trousers. And he has a note I just pulled out of his like front pocket. Let me show you guys, look at this. It's like a notepad, if it will focus. Come on, focus. Okay, you can see the faint lines of like the notes, but let me read you guys the notes. It says blueberry pancakes, sweet cakes, berries, and honey buns. So it's like a food list, like this bear is a haunted bear chef. It's so, I don't understand what's going on here. I mean, let me know, are you are you guys scared of this bear? Cause I am a little bit, I'm gonna give him his notepad back. He has a pencil too, I didn't even realize that. Look at that, is it real? Yo, this pencil looks real, sorry. I was like so, it looks real, I wonder if it is. I don't think it is, but I'm gonna put it back in his pocket. He has a pencil and a notepad, he's just so creepy. Um, Yeah, this one might haunt me in my sleep as well, so that's fun. Nothing has happened yet, I mean that panda bear is still sitting back there, so at least nothing weird has happened yet. Oh my goodness. Barney? What the heck is Barney the dinosaur doing in this in this haunted mystery box? Oh, I need to know. I've made some tea about Barney before. I'm ready to hear this story. Okay, I found the story already about Barney. So this Barney doll belonged to a young kid who absolutely loved Barney. He found this doll lying outside on a playground one day and was so excited to bring it home. He started to watch Barney episodes every night for a week after school with his Barney doll. The next week, Barney's voice box randomly started to function without being touched, telling him, I love you, you love me. You have a voice box? Does he? I need to see. I feel one. I feel like it doesn't work. But there's definitely, like, I feel a voice box inside of Barney. Let me show you guys. Oh, look at his little face. It says I love you on his chest. I really want to see if I get the voice box to work. Like, I love you, you love me. What? So scared. I am horrified. This was not even supposed to go off. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I pushed this Barney bear like in the stomach multiple times. I think his voice box was supposed to be broken according to this too. Have me finish reading the story. Yeah, I'm pushing it again. Look, I'm literally pushing on it and it's not working. But he just sang me the I love you song. This is creepy. I don't like Barney, okay? I've been chased by Barney before. I don't need that again, but let me continue. The next day, out of nowhere, the TV turned on all by itself and the screen turned fuzzy and Barney's voice started to come out of the TV repeating, I love you, you love me, over and over in a creepy tone. The kid got so scared that he turned off his TV thinking there was a glitch in the TV until he heard his Barney doll start to cry. The cry got louder and louder. The kid told his parents and they were very concerned as they also witnessed the doll crying as well. They decided to immediately take the doll away from the child and sold it to their local pawn shop. I am scared of this thing, okay? Is it? Is that crying? No! This can't- This can't be crying! Guys, come on, this is- this can't be real- Got you guys, it's a prank! No, well the crying was, but the, the voice box was not a prank, that was real. That was real, okay? Barney's voice box really is scaring me, because I'm pushing him, like I'm still pushing him right now. It worked! I hate Barney so much. Look at him, he's so scary. You love me too. I don't love you, Barney, okay? You're haunted and you're cursed. This thing is eerie. I'm throwing it on the bed. I probably shouldn't even put it on my bed, but okay, there is more to open. What in the heck are these? I think these are the last items. They're in a package. I'm going to open them up. They're a set of little dolls, and they're really scary looking. Let me show you guys. It's like a boy and a girl holding hands, and you can't separate them. This is very, very interesting. Okay, I'm going to read the story about these guys. Also, there's a little tag on them. What the heck? Looks like the tag from the antique store they were at. All right, let's read this. So this is called the Lover's Voodoo Dolls. This already sounds scary, okay? This one is cursed sounding. These voodoo dolls were made apparently by a witch in the 1970s who had an envious scheme. She was in love with a man who she was going to marry. Sadly, a week before her wedding, she found out her husband had cheated on her, which caused her to call off the wedding. She was so envious, she crafted a voodoo doll of him and his mistress in an attempt to cause distress in their lives. Eventually, it backfired on her and these dolls had built up some very bad energy within them. One night while she was working in her office, she noticed the doll suddenly missing from her desk. She then started to hear rain 
bathroom door slamming shut and cabinets shutting all by themselves throughout her house. The next morning when she woke up, her back was really itchy. So she went to look in the mirror to discover she had scratch marks all over her back. She went into her bedroom to find the dolls lying together on the floor. After that, she started to regret that she had created these dolls and then decided she no longer wanted to keep them. So she gave them away to her neighbor who didn't believe that they were haunted. The neighbor quickly changed his mind as he started to hear doors slamming throughout his house and see random dark shadows appearing on his walls. Rumor has it, these dolls are still cursed. That was the most concerning story, probably out of all of these. And I'm holding them. Nice. Okay, so the fact that these are real voodoo dolls, or at least they say they are, who knows? Like I said, maybe this is all fake. Maybe the Etsy, not Etsy, the eBay sellers trying to make some fun Halloween money on me, but they were. I don't want to be responsible for none of it. Like, I don't want to be the reason that someone feels like they're swinging right now. I probably shouldn't do that, okay? If they're really real voodoo dolls. But regardless to say, <laughs> they do look like they are like that's actually so creepy let me know if this is real guys do you think it's real yes or no I cannot say anyways guys that was it for this haunted mystery box let me know in the comments down below what do you guys think was the most cursed haunted doll in the eBay mystery box that I ordered from today's video honestly I had ordered some eBay boxes in the past and there were like a few things in those boxes that I ended up throwing away because they they actually scared me. I remember one night um, there was a door that slammed in the hallway and it was like windy outside but I don't know how like, the door would slam inside so now I'm a little bit scared like the voodoo doll and that panda bear that I have up there. I mean let me know in the comments down below if he has moved the whole video. I haven't seen anything. He looks like he hasn't, so I think we're good. But yeah, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully, I don't get haunted or cursed. If you guys enjoyed today's video, be sure to drop a like, hit that subscribe button, and leave a nice comment down below for a chance to win a shout-out in the next video. It's been Lissy, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your night. Remember, don't play with spooky cursed objects. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.